Greetings to all the saints of Jesus Christ there in Philippi. Paul here. Timothy is with me. Slaves of Christ. To all the bishops and deacons there with you as well. Grace and peace from God the Father and from our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, every time I think about you guys there in Philippi, I thank God. I pray for you guys constantly. Your fellowship in the gospel has meant the world to me from day one. Know that the work that God has started in you, He's going to finish it, even if it takes every day between now and the day of His return. You know, the same grace that enables me to endure my time here in this prison also enables me to keep all of you captive here with me in my heart. Oh, God knows how strongly I wish that I was there with you right now in person. My prayer for you is that your love would continue to grow and to grow and that your knowledge and discernment would increase daily so that you can spend your time well, sincerely and without offense at all times, filled to capacity with the results of righteousness to the glory of God. You know, everything that's happened to me here in this city has actually worked out for the best, believe it or not. I mean, every guard in this place, I mean, everyone in the city really knows that I'm in here for the defense of the gospel of Christ. And it has made all of the believers here in the city even more fearless to preach the gospel. Granted, there are a few people in the city who are preaching the gospel out of more questionable motives. They're trying to make my time here in prison even more difficult. But most people are preaching the gospel out of love and out of sincere support for me. So, Either way, the gospel is being preached, so I'm happy. Joke's on them, right? But I know all of this is going to work out. I'm sure of it, actually. God's Spirit is with me strongly. And I know that you're all praying for me, so I've got no reason to be ashamed. I shall continue to be as bold as ever not caring if I live or if I die, just so long as Christ is magnified either way. So if I keep living, I will live for Him. Then if I die, all the better. huh? It's kind of a win-win for me, really. <laughs> I mean, if it was just me, I would leave this earth in a heartbeat and go be with the Lord right now. But I know it's to your benefit that I remain, so I can help assist you in your growth. Besides, I know that it's God's will that I stay here for a while, so uh, it's kind of moot, really. I can't wait to see the looks on your guys' face when I get out of here, come to see you in person. But in the interim, you need to follow righteousness daily, daily, whether I'm there with you or not, right? Live lives worthy of the gospel. I want to keep hearing good reports back from you guys that you're standing united in one mind and in one spirit, unafraid, striving together for the gospel's sake. This will show your enemies not only your salvation, but also their own impending condemnation. And keep in mind that as believers, your portion will include a certain measure of suffering, as my life should be demonstrating to you. So if you do, in fact, feel that connection with me in these things, if you love me the way you say you love me, make my rejoicing complete all right, by remaining united in one purpose. Okay? I don't want anyone there jockeying for preeminence amongst yourselves. All right? I want everyone there to think more highly of everyone else than yourself. Don't just look out for number one. Support each other. Okay. In other words, I want you to approach this life like Jesus approached this life. He was in every way in God's image, but he set that aside and he became a servant for all of us. He was a man, just like the very least of us. And yet he was faithful to obey God, no matter what it cost him. And it cost him. It cost him everything. But he stayed faithful all the way to his death on that cross. And God rewarded him by raising him from the dead and by elevating him as high as is possible. And now his name is higher than any other name. And at that name, every knee will bow, whether here on earth or in heaven or beyond. 
Every mouth will declare that name and say that Jesus is Lord of all to the glory of his Father and ours. So whether I'm there with you in person or not, each of you needs to see to his own salvation with all seriousness and all gravity. Embrace God's hand as it works in your life to bring about his will for you. Embrace it. And do everything without complaining, with no, no infighting among you. All right, That way, everyone that sees you, it'll be evident to everyone that God is your Father and that you are faultless while being surrounded by an unrighteous society in whom you shine like lights in the darkness. Embrace the words of life, okay? On that last day, I want to rejoice, okay? I want to rejoice seeing that my investment in you was not wasted. I will very gladly offer myself up alongside of all of you, brothers. I would hope that you would rejoice in doing the same. I'm going to send Timothy to you soon, yeah? I want to get a report firsthand from him on how you guys are doing. I want him to bring it back to me. There's nobody that loves and cares for you guys like I do, except that man right there. I mean, most people are more interested in themselves than the things, and then in the things of the gospel. But uh, you all know Timothy. You know how faithful he is. It's like a son to me. So look for him soon. Hopefully look for me soon, too, as well, actually. I think I'm going to send Epaphroditus with him, too. Yeah, I know uh, he's here working hard, as you would expect, but I know Epaphroditus wants to come back and see you guys in person himself. He knows you were you heard that he was sick recently and you were upset. He was sick. He was really sick. He almost died, actually. I can't tell you how glad I am that God spared him. I don't think I could have taken losing him at that time. The sorrow would have just been too much. Would have flattened me. But I'm going to send him soon so you guys can get your eyes on him. Hug on his neck a little bit. Rejoice with him in his returned health. You should honor him. Honor him. Honor all men like him. He was willing to die for the gospel's sake. Epaphroditus, that's right. Timothy and Epaphroditus will be seeing you soon, so rejoice with them when they get there. There's plenty to rejoice about, I'll tell you that. I don't mind repeating myself. It's probably good for you. You need to be wary of those who would try to come and undermine what you guys are doing there in the city, all right? Especially those who would come and try to force you guys to go back under the law of Moses. We worship God in the Spirit, all right? That's the law that we need. None of us has anything that we should be boasting about. And if anyone has anything to boast about, it would be me. Full-blooded Israelite. Yep. Tribe of Benjamin. I am as Hebrew as God makes them. Plus, I am a fully qualified Pharisee. You guys all remember my previous life. I tried to destroy people that believed, believers like us. According to the law of Moses, I was without fault. So I set all of that aside, all of it. Even the stuff that I thought was a benefit to me, I cast it all aside, man. I've traded it all in on something far superior, on knowing Jesus Christ as my Lord. And I've taken it on the chin because of it, believe me. But you know what? I would do it all again, every bit of it, just to win Christ, to have his name written on me. To be clothed in the righteousness that can never come from perfect adherence to the law of Moses, but only through faith in Jesus Christ as Lord. I can get to know him now. I can share a little bit in his sufferings and share a little bit in the power of his resurrection as well. United with him in his death, united with him in his resurrection from the dead. I haven't got there yet. Nope, I've got a lot of maturing left to do. But it's a strong motivator, I'll tell you that much. To get my hands on the very things that Jesus had planned for me from the beginning, man, I don't have it yet. 
But I forget everything that's behind me, man. Forget it. It is gone and done. And I strive toward that prize with every bit of strength and passion that I have in me. Up and up and up. And if you've got any sense in your head, you'll do the same. And if you haven't got any sense in your head, well, you know, I'll pray for you. But wherever you fall on that spectrum, sense, no sense, we've all got a lot of traveling left to do. So let's march together, okay? Let's do it. I'll take point. Let's go. We'll be able to tell those who are marching with us by the way they're living their lives. Enemies of the cross always make themselves known by their behavior. They're easy to spot, too. They march with their eyes on the ground down here on this earth. They never look up. They're heading for a cliff and they don't even know it. So look upward as you live your lives each day, brothers. Look up. Look up. That way you'll be able to see him if he comes today. Oh, what a day that will be. Huh? That, to change this body into a body like his. Wow. He's got that authority, you know. So let's stand together. Let's march together. All right, strong, united. <coughs> mm, that reminds me, I wanted to specifically mention Euodia and Syntyche. They really need to reconcile their differences, man. You guys need to help them out, okay? Both of them worked hard alongside of me. They were greatly appreciated, along with Clement and the others. Come on now, you, all your names are written in the book of life, okay? Come on. You guys need to get together. Rejoice, like I said, rejoice. Rejoice always, always. I'm going to say it again, rejoice. <laughs> your care and your consideration need to be made evident to all, okay? Keep in mind the Lord is watching you. He's watching, so you've got nothing to be afraid of. Pray about everything, you know? Be thankful for everything. Ask God for everything. And his unfathomable peace will be your portion. And it will be a shield to you. A shield for your minds and for your hearts. As you think about things that are, that are, that are noble and that are true and that are just and pure and lovely and praiseworthy. You have a say in the things that you think about, all right? So think about good things, okay? Things that you've heard me say. Things that you've seen me do. And God and his peace will be with you. Uh, I'm really glad we had a chance to connect like this. <clears throat> you guys' support for me means more than I could possibly say. Although lately, I've discovered that no matter how I'm doing, I'm fine. You know, it's like regardless of my current condition, feast or famine, I'm fine. I'm good. I'm good. I'm content. It's weird. It's like at at all times I am I'm satisfied and I'm in need at the same time. And Christ and his strength are my portion in both things, simultaneously. Interesting. Anyways, I appreciate you guys' help. You guys have been with me and for me from the beginning, even when no one else was. Even when I was in Thessalonica, you guys sent help to me time and time again. I'm only mentioning it just to remind you of the fruit that's accumulating to your accounts, okay? Like I said, I'm doing fine. You don't need to send anything. I'm good. When Epaphroditus came with uh, your previous uh, care package, it was very timely and very appreciated. So thank you. God saw that gift. Okay. And he will, in turn, make sure that you have everything that you need. Always. God never suffers any lack. May he be praised forever. Uh, pass my greetings along to everybody there in the city. Everyone who's here with me also greet you. In fact, everyone in the city does. Mm -hmm. Even all my guards, my guards do too. Caesar's children, we call them. Okay, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all of you always. Right? Amen. Amen.